All right, so here we are. We're finally to the step where we're going to go ahead and put these bad boys here together. And uh, boy, I'll tell you what, this is uh, this is looking really nice. Um, how many coats of paint did you wind up having put on this? Okay. Um, we can maybe see a little bit of the wood grain through, but not much. I, I happen to like the way this looks. I think it looks really sharp. Um, how many coats of paint did we wind up having to put on these? Yeah. All right, most of us just did maybe one, maybe two light coats. So remember the more paint that's on this, the, uh, the more challenging it's going to be to get it to go through our center hole here. And we might actually have to, to take this here and, and, and rub a piece of paper over, we'll see. But a lot of times, do you think that when we're painting this, do you think that a little bit of uh, paint can drip down into the center hole? Absolutely. So what we do is before we put it together, we just take our drill, all right, and we're just gonna trace, trace the center hole. And we're just going to carefully go through. See how it's really not even spinning? That's just to take any little bit of uh, uh, crap that might be in there out. And then we're gonna take our, our stem right here and we want our crappiest side, which would be this down here, to be on our bottom. Because that one will fit down in the, uh, the hole down here and most of it will be covered up. So let's see if it fits down through. Sometimes you just gotta kinda corkscrew it. Yeah, that looks really nice right there. And something that I noticed going back uh, towards the beginning of this project, when we drilled this bottom hole, we actually drilled it at 3 8 because I had thought that we were going to drill the project at 3 8 and I didn't notice it until I went and grabbed the big drill bit that it was 5 16 It's not a big deal, all right? But obviously if we put this on, it's, it's a little bit too flimsy. So the way that we're gonna fix that is before we go ahead and put this on, you see I have a small piece of like scrap right here? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna open up our vise, and we'll just put this in our vise like this. This will protect our nice painted piece. And then we're gonna take our piece like this, and we're just gonna put it in our vise just a little bit, not much at all. And then we're gonna grab our drill, Make sure we get this in view here a little bit better. <coughs> and I just want to drill it a smidgen. What do I mean by a smidgen? Like maybe a half of an inch. You see how I have this right here? A couple little chips came out. That's plenty fine. Then go ahead and open this up. Now, a lot of times, <laughs> you guys like to try to put it together to see, a, to see what it looks like. And the reason why I'm gonna tell you not to do that is because it can get stuck together, all right? Don't ever force these things in. I know that at this point here, he's ready to go ahead and actually put this physically together. But what I wouldn't wanna do is go ahead and put this on like this right now and, and push it all the way in. All right, I see it just kinda of sets that, finds that hole a little bit and we're in great shape. Now. This part here is independent. So this is supposed to be able to move a little bit if it wants to, all right? If it doesn't move, that's fine. If it does move, it's fine. But we do want to glue this part here into the base of our project. And we do want to put a little dab of Duya glue on this here and put this onto our project right here. So how does he know if his base is done? <laughs> Say it again, bud. You can squeak, let's listen. I can't get squeak. Can you get squeak? I can't get it to squeak today. Maybe our hands are a little bit oily. Does it feel really smooth though? Does it almost feel like a sheet of glass? So I think that this here is actually ready to go ahead and, and be put together. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this together. I'm going to show you guys exactly how all this here works. How much glue do you think we need when we put this in? Not a lot. Somebody said not a lot. Somebody said just a tad. That's pretty good. I didn't think you'd say that. I would say, yeah, just a tad, a little dab of do you. So we don't actually need that much. Um, do you know what happens if we put too much on? It needs to be a big old mess. I think it should be a big mess if we put a lot, we put a lot in. So we'll just put a little bit more. Like I always say, less is more. When we do this, somebody did not close the glue bottle. Always makes it nice and interesting for us. All 
right? So I don't want to touch his project with all this glue. Nice part about the, the glue, you just kind of rub your hands together a little bit, comes away. So we're just going to put a smidgen right down here. A little dab of do ya. And I don't really want to put it on the top of the project. I kind of want it to be around the the hole a little bit when we do it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this part right here and we're just going to finagle that in. Now is it all the way in? No. no. So what we could do is we could just carefully push it a little bit like so. Now I like the way that that feels. Should we be moving it all around town at this point? No. What do you think we're going to have to do with the bottom right here? So he said maybe put it on the top of the stick and put in. What I would actually do is I would actually take this like this. And I'm gonna put a little drop of glue. Right down in there. That looks mighty fine. What I don't wanna do is get this all over this here. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off. And then we're just gonna take this and we're gonna give it a little, just a little tap. That looks pretty good right there. Now, the only thing that might happen is we might have a little bit of glue that can wind up falling out of the side right here. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Sometimes what I'll tell you to do is just to take it and leave it set like this right here. This bottom looks really nice. I think he's in great shape. How do you know that's your bottom there, Lou? And he's got his initials. Would it look a little bit silly if he had the initials facing up? It would, and it does happen. It's not the end of the world if it does happen. Um, what you really want to do right now is you want to let this project here set. Now, he's got one thing that if he wants, he can change. A lot of times I like to put it like this so that we see our grain running this way, kind of like with this here, but we wind up seeing an end grain. So if you wanted it to look like this, we could turn it. It's your choice. What do you think? Do you want to turn it? So all we're going to do is we're going to take this here, we're going to turn it like so. Nice and 90 degrees. I'm gonna let it dry, make sure it's not poking through the bottom too bad. How long do you think it takes that glue to set? <clears throat> Five minutes, pretty close. 10. So I would say that after 15 minutes, it's set enough that we could probably stand it up. Usually in about an hour, it's almost all the way dried, but you do only have about five to seven minutes of workability with it. So what that means is that within five or seven minutes, you kind of got to let it go, all right? You don't want to really want to be moving with it too much. Is that pretty easy to do? Should you put it together before you're actually ready to assemble it all the way? No, because then you're going to break the stick down the center. It's going to be a big old mess. Any questions before we get started with this stuff here? All right, let's go ahead and get that stuff out.